it is March 17th and it's kind of a cloudy rainy day but we're out here outside of Fairfield yes hoping to do some herping and this area right here unfortunately is all private privately owned and a lot of it is cow pasture which would make it good snake habitat but a lot of other stuff can't live here so instead we're gonna be looking right along this fence line between here and the road we might find something so I'm gonna get out and give it a shot there's a big sign that says no dumping and right next to this big sign is a bunch of stuff that people don't people don't know how to read these days Big giant dinosaur right there. Yeah, a lot of these guys. All right, he really does not want to be held. I'm mean, gonna let him go under. Whoa, that's how aggressive these guys are. Check that out. He's just. Whoa, he's lunging at me. Whoa. There's a second one. Oh, there's another one. Hey, good eye, Dad. Hi there, buddy. Whoa, these guys are so aggressive. It's crazy. Underneath All right. Holy cow. They do that when they're cold and can't move. That's so cool. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, okay. This guy's is a California slender salamander. All right, so I got my better camera here, guys. This is California slender salamander. And I've only caught these a couple other times. And the thing that I like about these salamanders is their tails are like as long as their bodies are. And these things, they don't eat a lot of large animals. They eat mostly small arthropods, insects, that sort of stuff that they find. And their legs are just so small. They mostly wiggle like snakes. I'm just gonna I think these guys are really cute as salamanders go. Um, their, their tails are just so long. And it just goes to show what you can find under a log on the side of the road and under some trash. You know, you flip the right stuff. Oh, he's looking at me. Hi there, buddy. He's like, my house is not trash. Who are you insulting? Yep, California Slim Salamander. That is really cool. Let's see if I can get him to move. Just see how... Get an idea of his locomotion. Come on, buddy. I know he's not dead. He's just playing. Hard to get. Come on, bud. Feel like moving? Come on, what if I tried to grab your tail? Come on. The release of the California Slender. And these guys are prey for a lot of different species, garter snakes, which is honestly what I was thinking we might come across out here today in the field. All right. Bye, buddy. Slither on down there. Yes, just one of these things I was hoping to find out here today. This is, is a ring. This is the ring neck snake, guys. Um, he really is trying to make a dash for it. And that's one thing that they do when they're scared. They curl up their tail like that. You can see it. And this is a Pacific ring neck snake. Um, I can tell because of the colors is that their bellies are bright orange, especially by the tail. I'm over, but that gives a great view of his stomach. Beautiful, beautiful snake. And the gray on the back and right by his head, if I'll move it out underneath that plant, there's a ring right by his neck. These are the prettiest snakes around this area in my opinion. Uh, they're, they're really docile. They eat frogs, lizards, really anything they can catch. 
and this is the smallest one I've ever found. Like you can see my thumb in comparison. This is really small ringneck snake. And that's a defensive stance, just kind of curling up there. When I first saw him, I thought he might have been a sharp-tailed snake, but nope. Little ringneck. This is so cool. Underneath the a big giant piece of concrete. And when I want to pick him up, he's going to remain kind of in that ball there, like a ball python. It's kind of like... I can flip him over and show you guys his belly. Isn't that pretty, guys? Uh, very cool snake. Awesome, awesome find. So they're orange to warn off predators that they could be poisonous. Animals that have orange or bright coloration are often are often trying to tell predators, look, I'm poisonous, you don't want to try to eat me, because if you do, you're going to really regret it. And it's musk is really nasty. Um, this snake isn't poisonous, but it still has an orange belly to say, try to tr trick predators into thinking it's poisonous, so they won't eat it. And I love these little snakes. They're really harmless, never bite. Um, they don't make great additions to aquariums or terrariums, but just the same, they're a great snake to try to come across. And I love these guys. I'm going to put them back under. There he goes. He's like, jailbreak! Yeah. Man, today could not have gone any better. That is so cool. We are literally right along a highway. And the amazing thing to me is we're searching among piles of trash. And we're still finding animals. So, you know... The message I want to put out there is, it doesn't matter where you're at, we found three really cool animals all within 100 feet of each other in trash. So, don't let your location stop you from finding these cool things. They're lucky you might find something else. It has been a really great day so far. So this is a young alligator lizard, obviously. Yeah, he's gonna musk on me. But, you know, another cool lizard. Right in this trash pile. This is really bad that people would litter like this. There he goes. Oh, no way! A newt. Another nude. I mean, these guys are really cool. Um, and they got bright orange bellies to warn predators that they are toxic. These guys, unlike the rust or the ringneck snake, these guys actually are really toxic. So I'm gonna have to wash my hands really well after touching these little guys. These guys, these little guys are newly metamorphosed, meaning they recently lost their gills. And this one, heck, it could be its mom. And the difference between rough skin newts and California newts, like you saw in some of my other videos, is the dark goes below the eyeball. In California newts, there's only light below the eyeball. So, very cool find. These guys are semi-aquatic, meaning that they live in the water only some of the time. This one's really fat and a beautiful, healthy specimen. And um, these guys, unlike salamanders, can go longer times without water. Ah, oh, very cool creature. And if you ever do come across a newt, don't touch it and then eat something. This little guy even has enough toxins to kill you in his body. All right? They don't like this very much. I'm going to put them back on. It has been a great day here. We found newts, salamanders, uh, alligator lizards, snakes, the whole kit and caboodle. It's been great. When you're out there catching reptiles, be safe, be smart, and have a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.